Hello, my name is Ivan from Flyfish Technologies. Flyfish Technologies is a startup company developing some interesting electronics products. And I'm going to present you one of them today. It's called Hide the Blue. Hide the Blue is a USB Bluetooth device which allows your Android device to communicate with the computer, particularly by emulating native keyboard and mouse. Let's see in a demo what makes Hide the Blue unique. When we insert Hide the Blue dongle for the first time in the computer, operating system tries to find proper drivers for it. Since Hide the Blue device introduces itself to the operating system as an ordinary keyboard and mouse, the operating system doesn't require any third-party drivers, but automatically loads its native drivers instead. This is true for any computer having operating system that supports USB keyboard and mouse, like Apple Mac OS, Microsoft Windows, Android, BSD, Linux and so on. You name it. We are going to use Samsung Android phone in this demo. It is almost out of the box. I just installed demo application and paired our Hide the Blue device. Bluetooth is currently turned off, as you can see, but this is not an issue because our app is going to detect this and turn it on. After launching the app, we need to perform few initial steps. First step is to initialize APIs. The Bluetooth is also turned on. Next step is to search for Bluetooth devices within our range. Although we have already paired Hide the Blue device, we have to check that it's turned on and within the range. And this is going on right now. This discovery is standard Android Bluetooth procedure and it takes about 12 seconds to complete. Please be aware that for this demo presentation purposes, we perform each initialization step manually. They would otherwise be performed in the background. Next step is to connect to the paired Hide the Blue device just found. And at the last initialization step, we establish the communication. Ok, we are ready now to continue with Hide the Blue features presentation. This is our main demo application screen, which lists several basic Hide the Blue usage possibilities. Let's start with a very simple one. The mouse pointer is moved by changing tilt position of the phone. Well, this is a bit clunky control, so don't stop watching the demo now. This is just a short warm-up. We have to keep the phone into the stride position to maintain mouse idle state or tilt it to move the mouse pointer. The sensitivity level has been set quite low for this demo, therefore I need to perform very aggressive movements. There are standard two mouse buttons and wheel present. This is not very convenient and it definitely takes some time and practice to adjust the sensitivity level and get used to tilt the phone. I prefer touchpad instead. Here we have finger sliding area, right and extended left button. This is toggle indicator for left button and let's see what it stands for. We are going to launch notepad now to show us input text later on. Since I use one finger only, left mouse toggle button allows me to easily resize the notepad window, for example. This touchpad will be used also later in this demo, so let's continue with next item immediately. Numeric keypad functionality equals to one known mainly from desktop keyboards. Nowadays, laptops and other portable computers typically don't have dedicated numeric block on the keyboard due to space restrictions. If you are regularly using numeric part of your desktop keyboard, Hide the Blue offers you proper substitution where you can use your phone also as a numeric keypad for your laptop. Whatever we type, the computer receives as a keyboard data input. Another use case is Passwords Wallet. With so many online accounts nowadays, each having at least unique password, it is usable to have a kind of secure storage with login assistant. This is just demo application, of course. The real app would need to have strong master password, encrypted data storage and also some other protection features which are out of scope here. So, by pressing a single button, we emulate login typing of username, tab key, password and enter key, what is very common authentication sequence. Next is presentation control. 
With this presentation control, we are going to master PowerPoint presentation. Let's launch it with touchpad by clicking on the presentation example file. This presentation control is interesting because we are going to emulate here also a sequence of both keyboard and mouse button clicks at once with a single button press. The actual keys used and clicks performed are specific to PowerPoint application, but it is very easy to adapt this functionality to any application. On this layout we have finger sliding area and four control buttons. We can move through slides forward and backward and this could already be enough in most presentation cases. However, the middle two buttons can be used for highlighting presentation content. We can turn laser pointer on and off and move it to point to interesting item. Remaining button activates marker and what you've just saw was mentioned mixture of keys and mouse button clicks in a synchronized sequence. Let's mark the part any device with USB port. And on the next slide we can also highlight some text. Let's mark low level code. These marks remain on the slides what is native functionality of the PowerPoint application. So, additional possible hide the blue usage is to use your Android device as a remote control for your slide presentation. Ok, let's close the PowerPoint application to continue with the demo. I'd like to show you another use case where we use Android device as a barcode reader. These are examples of average barcode and QR code and their data content will be listed in Notepad. The functionality presented now is 100% equal to one performed by dedicated USB barcode readers connected to computer. Barcode has been scanned and value is transferred to a computer. The same behavior applies also for QR code. For this scanning demo functionality, Zebra Crossing library has been integrated into this demo app. All mouse movements, button clicks and keyboard entries which you saw in this demo so far were entirely performed with the phone. And now something completely different. We are going to use computer keyboard to type data into the phone. Here we have recipients number field, message content field and send button. This is our simple entry mask for sending short messages and the equal mask is also implemented in the application on the computer. We can type data on both sides simultaneously. Let's just type few digits on the phone and continue typing on the computer. Of course, typing on the standard computer keyboard is much more convenient compared to tiny keyboards present on small devices. Hide the blue can be used also in that situations where data flow is in direction from computer to Android device. You are not limited to send only keyboard data to the phone since Hide the blue gives you transport communication layer which you can freely use to build your new features of choice on top of it. We came to the end of our demo. Few basic usage cases have been presented to give you an overview about Hide Blue and its unique features. I'd like to underline that there is no need to install any drivers or other low-level code anywhere to add these functionalities. Additionally, this Samsung Galaxy Y phone is not rooted, so its warranty remains in place. Please keep in mind that Hide Blue is both a product for end users or it can become a building block for your IT solutions in the future. Thank you for your attention and welcome to our webpage where you can get further information including technical documentation and source code from the demo.